Healthcare science is advancing and improving, but with this comes change, especially with breast cancer. The female breast, not counting the skin cover, is made mostly of milk-making lobules, milk-carrying ducts, fat, connective tissue, blood vessels, and lymph nodes. The most common cancers start in the milk-carrying ducts, but cancer can start in any of the other types of tissue. Our best science suggests that a woman who is born this year will have a one in eight lifetime chance of developing breast cancer. That's up from one in 10 a decade ago. That's a change. Risk factors for breast cancer include increased age of the individual, inherited genetic alterations, high breast density on mammograms, a family history of breast cancer after 50 years of age, and a Caucasian ancestry. Also risk is higher if there is a prior personal history of breast cancer, previous radiation treatment to the chest area, prior long history of excessive alcohol intake, menstruation before 12 or after 55 years of age, no babies or babies after 30 years of age, menopausal therapy with estrogen, and minimal physical activity in a lifetime. These are new and refined factors that indicate who has a higher risk of breast cancer. Despite these considerations, however, a woman without even one risk factor can still get breast cancer. Screening tests for breast cancer include history taking, physical exam, imaging, and genetic testing. Epidemiologists have found that not all breast cancer screening tests are helpful, however, and some can cause problems for the patient. Therefore, recommendations for breast cancer screening have changed. When a mammogram is false positive, suggesting there might be cancer when it's not there, this could cause undue stress, anxiety, and unnecessary biopsy. When a mammogram is false negative, suggesting there is no cancer, when it is there, this could cause delay of treatment, resulting in a greater chance for the cancer to spread. When a mammogram finds low-grade cancer that would never be life-threatening, this could cause unnecessary treatment and surgery that might worsen the patient's quality of life. For these reasons, recommendations for screening must be individualized. This confusing and changing information should help all of us realize that in this arena of healthcare, there are too many variables. Please discuss this with your doctor or care provider as it is her or his job to help you sort this out. Screening tests for breast cancer need to be tailored for every individual. With advancing science comes change.